started if you like. Um, this will be recorded, everybody. So if you do sign on a little bit later, um, no worries, because uh, we will be sending out a recording to you as well. So you can go ahead and start if you All like. All right, very good. Well, let me uh, get a couple things situated here. I just want to make sure I have everything ready to go. And um, All right, very good, everyone. Well, uh, welcome to uh, Moustache Show Tours and Mayflower Cruises and Tours uh, travel webinar. Uh, I was pretty uh, amazed. We had almost 150 folks register and just wanna say uh, thanks to everyone for your interest in travel. And uh, no, it's uh, been a hard, hard year for travel, but we're definitely excited about the future. And so, um, how we're going to do this is uh, I'm going to kind of start with Moustache Show Tours and try to do a, an overview of, of our company. Um, and uh, hopefully that'll be about 30 minutes or so. We'll take you through a couple of our uh, trips coming up, our 2021 schedule and how to stay in touch with us and, and what's going on here. Then I'm going to turn it over to Judy O'Brien, um, who is our uh our business development manager for Mayflower Tours. They handle all our, our ground operation for our, our uh, overseas river cruising. So she's gonna do a great job of going through uh, those two trips that we have for 2022. We have some great deals that we're offering right now for booking right now. And, uh, and then, so yeah, we're gonna have lots of fun and then we'll have about 30 minutes for questions. We want you to obviously have some time for you to get some questions. And if we don't get to all of them, um, you know, definitely email us and we'll be obviously we're here and available for you. So this is really uh, for you and we want to have lots of fun. I know everyone's been talking about, you know, COVID and all this stuff that's going on in our world. And, you know, sometimes it's just fun to talk about travel. So that's what we're okay. gonna be doing today. How does that sound, Judy? Does that sound that's good? That's great. Let's travel. I'm ready for that. All right. <laughs> Very good. Well, you can go to the next slide. Um, so the agenda for our side today is we're just going to go over a little bit of a background of Moustache Joe Tours. Um, we're going to go over what is a tour, make sure that um, you kind of know exactly uh, what a tour is and popular and new tours for us in 2021. We're going to be going over five reasons to take to take a group tour. Uh, we'll go through that. And obviously the big question, well, what about COVID? So we'll kind of talk about some of those things. Uh, we'll go through our sign-up process and way to stay connected. Then I'll turn it over to Judy for her for her presentation. And again, lots of time for questions. So uh, just a little bit of background on us. Uh, we started in 1975 here in Fremont, Nebraska. Uh, my uh, father started the company, uh, Moustache Joe. He is a real person, I always say. <laughs> That's him there on the right uh, out of our home office. We've really grown obviously over the last 40 years, but for the first, uh, since from 1975 to 1990, we were mainly in uh, overseas tours. And then we started doing motor coach tours in 1990. So uh, we've really grown. We operate over a hundred tours annually. So that's motor coach tours, cruises, um, river cruising, like what Judy's gonna talk about. So uh, we've been very blessed over the years to see lots of growth. Um, over our history, we've had over 100,000 reservations we've processed through our office. And so uh, we have a tremendous staff here. Um, we've been really dedicated to serving our customer and uh, giving great value. And that's been a, a great strategy and it's worked really well. We've been very blessed that way. And so uh, in 2019, uh, we were honored with the Groups Today Award and uh, that award is given to the most innovative tour operator. And that's out of 300 tour operators in, the, uh, in North America. Wow, that's so very, very humbled to receive that, that honor. And um, so uh, what is our, some of our core values? And I think it's important for our customers to know this because this is really how we live as a company. And um, you know, we actually have our mission statement posted up in our office because it's really that important. And I think that's important to you as a, as a potential customer to know we're really a purpose-driven organization. And that's always started with our service focus. Um, we have a unique uh, pickup program with our shuttles uh, and different pickup locations. And um, we've always, our tour directors and, and how we operate our tours, you are our goal to make, to exceed your expectations. And so, 
Uh, we're obviously very service focused, very personable. We like to have lots of fun on our trips. We're passionate about what we do and we're adventurous, right? That's what travel is all about. It's about getting out and experiencing this, what this world has to offer. And uh, we know after, after COVID leaves, we already can tell there's lots of pent up demand for travel and uh, we're all gonna wanna get out again and go see these things that this world has to offer. And that's our mission statement. Our mission is uh, we help people discover the one, wonder and majesty of God's creation through travel. And um, that is something that we really try to live by. So uh, just briefly, what is a tour for the newbies that may be on here? A tour really it includes transportation. So that's either air, cruise, and motor coach. Sometimes it has a combination of all three of those can be from one day to 15 days. It could be, well, hey, we're going to the Iowa State Fair, or it could be, hey, we're doing a, no a Nova Scotia tour. So it could be any amount of days. It includes a professional tour director. That's one of our staff that goes along with the group. They kind of serve as your personal concierge on the tour through the whole process. They take care of all your needs, literally. All you do is sit back and enjoy. Have any problems, you go to them. That's what they're there for. Includes hotel accommodations, uh, admissions to any attractions that we have, um, and, and most meals are included. We usually, on our trips, like to include a breakfast and one other meal. So, uh, and then we have the convenient pickup locations throughout Nebraska, Norfolk, Omaha, Lincoln, Fremont, uh, and, on lot, and on some of our itineraries, uh, depending on our routing, we go out to North Platte, Des Moines, uh, Kansas City, Missouri, uh, we even picked up in Yankton, South Dakota. So, um, yeah, with our convenient pickup locations, depending on the trip, uh, really makes it nice for our, our passengers. The different tour types. Um, so we have motor coach only trips. So that means you would get on a motor coach here in, in Omaha and Fremont, wherever your pickup location is. And then that whole tour would be motor coach transportation. Um, but then we also have international trips like Judy's River Cruising, where, you know, we'll, we'll help you get to the airport. We'll have a tour director with you through that process. You'll get on a motor coach over there and go to the, and go to the cruise line. So there's three, three uh, different transportation types there. Uh, like I said, cruises, river cruises. We have sports trips. We do Nebraska football. We do Field of Dreams. We go uh, do Cubs and Cards, baseball. Um, we do national parks, Yellowstone, Tetons. Um, there's really not a national park that we don't hit on one of our itineraries. If that's your interest, we'll get into the Utah's Mighty Five is a new trip for us coming up this year. Scenic train rides, uh, plenty of those. We have a Colorado train adventure tour that has five different train rides throughout Colorado. So if that's something you like, we have, we have uh, train trips. Um, special events and themed, uh, Albuquerque Balloon Fiesta is one of those. Um, so there's uh, San Antonio Christmas. So we have Christmas themed trips. Um, a lot of folks though, they really wanna see the autumn foliage. And so we have lots of different programs that go, go through all those areas. As well as uh, Mystery and One Day and uh, Branson, Missouri. We were one of the first companies to promote uh, tours to Branson. Um, one of the, when we went first, there was only two shows, the Ball Knobbers and the Presleys, and now there's uh, hundreds of shows <laughs> there. So, Judy, I bet you didn't know that about it. So, no, that's, a, that's pretty cool. Um, <laughs> we have about uh, 12 different, usually 10 to 12 different groups a year, uh, different dates that go down to Branson. And, um, you know, great entertainment. We're really close. We're within a day's drive. It's a great four-day trip. You know, if you're looking to get back into traveling again after this, you know, I think Branson would be a, a good, a good uh, opportunity. So we truly have something for everyone. Um, when you look at uh, really, we're only as good as the vendors that we work with. And so when you look at the different vendors that we vet out, every tour, every hotel accommodation attraction is, is vetted to a, 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 the most we can. And, and we get out there. We go to these uh, different hotels and we make sure they're up to our standards. And I just included a few of those. Uh, obviously, Mayflower Tours and Cruises is a company that we've worked with for, gosh, uh, at least five years, I think now on their different programs. And um, as well as Drury Hotels, which they have 150 locations in 25 states, uh, is, is the kind of hotels we like to, to use. Norwegian Cruise Line is one of our major partners. 
uh, Aero Stage Lines uh, is our main motor coach partner, and they're the largest privately owned motor coach operator in the Midwest. And uh, includes Wi-Fi. They got hardwood floors, leather seats. When, this is not your typical bus, you know. This is a, this is a motor coach, and um, they're really luxury transportation. And then we do like to use, you know, local local establishments for meals at all possible. But we also have, you know, like Cracker Barrel, good, good solid, um, you know, partner there for our restaurants. So, and then entertainment. The Grand Ole Opry is just a, an example of different kind of entertainment that we have. So. Again, we're only as good as the vendors and partners that we have, but we really work very hard to vet all them out and give you, our, our passenger and customer, the best possible experience. So I'm just going to get into briefly a couple of our really popular trips coming up that we're planning this year. And um, these two trips have really been staples for us throughout our history. And our first one is Mackinac Island. Um, this is a six day tour. Uh, we have two spring dates and seven autumn dates. Mackinac Island is a little island just north of Michigan. Uh, has a lot of history, a lot of shopping, uh, boutique shopping. There's no motor vehicles. It's everything's done by either walking or carriage. So it's just a very unique uh, destination. And um, so yeah, we, we have a lot of different opportunities and dates for that. New for this year is, uh, we actually are for this itinerary going to stay on the island. So that is new for this year. Really, it's going to give you our passenger from 12 o'clock noon all the way to 12 o'clock noon the next day. You'll have literally a full day um, in 24 hours on, on the island to explore and, and do things and, and have a lot of free time on your own. So we're really excited about that. Um, that tour also includes lunch at the Grand Hotel, carriage ride, um, it has Frankenmuth, Michigan, which is a very unique town in Michigan that uh, we go to the Bavarian Inn restaurant as well as Door County. So one thing about us, you're not going to beat the value for what you get. And so with six days, this tour with our, our booking discounts, only 1049 per person, double occupancy. So that's, that's everything leaving here from Nebraska, going up to Mackinac, coming back all in and it's 1049 per person. So Definitely a great value for what you're getting there. Um, the next one I'll go over is, is our autumn in New England trip. This has been another um, really staple for us for many, many years. It's a 12 day tour, it leaves right here from Nebraska Motor Coach and includes the uh, majestic uh, Kankamangas Highway, Niagara Falls, Boston, and Plymouth, Massachusetts, New York City. It's the most comprehensive tour that we have for those that are looking to just cross some states off your bucket list and get and see as much as possible, uh, this tour is gonna do that. And again, it's a really good value for what you're getting at $19.99 per person. That's including all accommodations, that's including the meals, 19 meals, motor coach transportation, our tour director. So um, if you're looking at, there are two staple itineraries for us. And I will mention, I forgot to mention on these two tours for this year, um, we have a peace of mind cancellation policy. So literally up to the day before the tours leave, you can cancel for any reason. So if you're not, you know, if, if we're not out of the, uh, COVID and you don't feel comfortable, um, you know, we have a very, very flexible with you um, this year. So uh, now I'll just briefly mention uh, some of the really new itineraries. Uh, maybe some of you veterans that have traveled with us, we always try to bring in some new stuff every year. Um, really excited about our unique programs this year. Uh, Coastal Carolina Beaches. Uh, it's the North, Car North Carolina Outer, Outer Banks. It has five nights beach accommodations. Um, very historic area over there on the Outer Banks. Great new itinerary. Take a look at that. Utah's Mighty Five is the five national parks in Utah. It's Arches, Bryce Canyon, Canyonlands, Capitol Reef, and Zion. The unique thing about this itinerary is we're in Nebraska, so just it's a pretty short drive out to Utah. I think it's an eight day tour is all. You got those five national parks and the whole time is we have a step on guide that is an expert in those national parks. It's going to be with you the whole time in addition to our tour director. So that literally two points of contact, very cool opportunity there. Uh, America's Amish is a new itinerary for us this year includes the three uh, most popular, most famous Amish communities in the United States, in Ohio, Pennsylvania, and Indiana. Um, so that, that's an eight-day itinerary. You want to take a look at that. Um, 
our Great Lakes of North America uh, is another itinerary. If you really like Mackinac Island and want to dig in more there, we actually stay two nights at the Grand Hotel on that one. So we even gave you more time there on that itinerary. So that's as, that is new as well. And as well as our Nebraska football programs, a lot of you may know we are going to Ireland, um, Oklahoma, Michigan State, Purdue. So a lot of cool stuff, a lot of new great stuff that we have this year um, at Moustache Joe Tours. So uh, the next slide talks about, and I'd like just to go over this because you know I do think there's lots of advantages when you're looking at traveling by with a group. And, um, and I just kind of want to go over those because number one is, is uh, cost, is going with a group is definitely gonna save you lots of money than trying to figure this out and do this on your own. You know, we have re really good relationships with all of our suppliers and our vendors and uh, really able to get group discounts at a lot, of air, a lot of places, as well as you get to spread out the, you know, the transportation costs over the group. And so it really is an economical, there's no bet more economical way to travel than a uh, group. Um, safety, there, there's safety in numbers. You know, we have a tour director with you the whole time. You know, there's that extra level of safety that we give. And that is a, a big thing with traveling with a group. Um, sightseeing, you know, with our itineraries, we include at different destinations, step on guides. These are local experts in what they do that will actually come onto the motor coach and give you a two or three hour tour where you get off at certain stops like DC, Washington, DC is an example of that. You know, you're just not driving by, you know, you're getting off, but you have that point of contact where you're really getting something out of your travel and you're really learning a lot uh, about what you're seeing. That's an advantage as well. Our itineraries, you're gonna do way more in the amount of time traveling it with a group than trying to figure this out on your own. We have, we have the experience uh, of 40 years of itinerary planning where these itineraries have been vetted and looked at and critiqued. So the amount that you do in the amount of time um, is, is tremendous. And uh, you know, let us, let us do your itinerary planning and uh, let you just enjoy the experience and sit back and relax. And you don't have to worry about driving or finding hotels or finding restaurants. You let us take care of that and make your travel uh, easy and enjoyable. And finally, you know, everything I believe is always better with people. You know, that's one of the hard things that, that this COVID has, has, has done is that it's kind of forced us in. And I think that, you know, when we come out of this, that the us to come together and be able to travel as a group again and to do things together, um, I think we're really going to have a re-energizing of that. And so... You know, we believe that you come, might come on as strangers, but you leave as friends and the value of those relationships after the trip is um, one of the big reasons why we do what we do here. And so it is always amazing to hear the stories of friendships built on our, on our trips. And uh, it's uh, really a, a passion of ours and our tour directors. So uh, next is, I know everyone's talking about it. What about COVID-19, right? Uh, you know, obviously, uh, COVID-19 has been tough on the travel industry. And, uh, but, you know, we are excited about the future. We know that there's a bright future of travel ahead, and we're going to be ready uh, when that time comes. But number one, your health and safety are, will always be our number one priority. We're never going to put you in a situation where we feel like it's not, we're not ready to go or things aren't ready to, you know, to, to do this yet. We're always going to put you first in that way. And so I will tell you, um, you know, we over this past year, not one person that had to cancel off one of our tours or we canceled a tour did not receive a full refund of monies paid money back. And that was my commitment uh, as we were going to do, you know, a lot of companies made it doing vouchers or whatever they were doing. If you were on one of our motor coach tours, one of our tours we operate, you had an opportunity always for your money back. And I'm very extremely proud of that and our staff. And that is my commitment to all of our passengers that you will have for me uh, moving forward. And so what we've done for 2021, um, I've mentioned that we've relaxed cancellation policies. You know, I would say over half of our motor coach are the, are the peace of mind cancellation. Cancel up to the day for any reason and you get your money back. Um, not every one of them is like that, but we have tried to, extend those as close as we can 
to the day of departure, just to give you, our customer, that peace of mind. Um, we have our Aero Stage Lines has extensive cleaning protocols, very extensive throughout the motor coach. And we'll get into um, a, a few of those later on some of the testimonials when we ran a couple of tours back in November. We go above and beyond when it comes to cleaning, and that's extremely important to us. Um, for this year, as we start to come out of the pandemic, uh, we're gonna be following CDC guidelines very, very closely in all the destinations that we, that we have. We are recommending that you wear a mask or face covering on our motor coaches. Um, you know, we're not gonna mandate it, um, but you know, it's, it's up to you um, as a passenger. And hopefully as we come into the vaccines that we're able to administer the vaccines and come out of this. And we have a very, very you know, exciting, exciting future of group travel this year. So again, we're seeing a lot of pent up demand. Um, this week has been, we've had more reservations and this, this webinar with over a hundred folks, you know, so as people want to go, we want to travel again. So uh, if you're looking at summer, fall trips, I would say, you know, I wouldn't, I would act uh, fairly soon as uh, we are seeing a lot of demand uh, folks that are, you know, ready to go or looking to the fall and the summer. So uh, we're, re we're ready to serve. And so there's also travel protection is avail available as well. So uh, just to give you an idea, we did run a couple of trips uh, in November um, and we had just some great testimonials. Um, one, I was very pleased about the pro COVID precautions that were in place, especially having hand sanitizer, disinfecting wipes available. It was apparent you paid very cl close attention to detail. Uh, definitely thanks, Joanne, there. I really enjoyed our tour director and driver. I loved everything about this trip. Felt so safe. Ate too much. All the shows are fantastic. Thank you, Linda. I will say, I always say when I introduce groups that if you go hungry on our trips, it's your own fault. So we're definitely going to give you opportunities to eat. So um, it was a wonderful trip with all the changes and stumbling blocks due to COVID. Very well planned and executed. Congrats on number one tour, Rita. Thank you. This was my first trip with you. I loved everything. Our tour director and driver were excellent. Even my shuttle driver from Norfolk to Fremont was wonderful as well, Rhonda. Those are all testimonials off of our, off of our trips that we ran uh, in November to Branson. And so thank you to those folks who uh, helped us with those testimonials. And, and uh, we were um, glad to be able to run those trips and give everybody a good time. So uh, how, to, how to reserve here. So uh, we hope to make it very easy for you to ever make a reservation with us. There's always three ways. You can do it online. There's book now on our website. You can follow the process there. Always look at our brochures on our specific tours for the deposit requirements. But if you uh, can run, you can go with it and do it online. If that's what you'd like, you can always call us here. Our staff will be ready for you to, to take those and answer any questions you have. And then we also send out a paper reservation form if you'd like to do it that way as well, as I know, you know, we've done that a lot in our history, had paper reservation forms. Um, so the tours require deposit to book, final payments generally do 30 to 90 days. Uh, final travel documents we send out there, you can see difference for motor coach and cruise and air. So there is plenty of opportunity for you when you're ready uh, you can stay, to stay in touch with us and book. Again, we're here to serve. Um, and don't forget to join our mailing list. Uh, we send out, we just sent out our 2021 schedule. It was about a 56 page book. Uh, that's also online as well uh, on an online copy. And we are, uh, hopefully we'll be getting back into sending those out regularly. So you can join our mailing list. We have an email list that we send out. You can like us on Facebook. Uh, you can always visit our website. Our website is the most comprehensive area where, where everything we have is on there. So uh, we update that every day with every, every new tour that comes out. Um, so that is going to be the best place to see all of our offerings. And uh, we have a location here in Fremont, Nebraska. So if you'd want to come here and talk to me, I work with my brother, John, um, and we have a great staff of folks here. We'll be happy to sit down with you and and, uh, and, and talk through anything that you have questions on. So um, again, I hope that gave uh, you, uh, our travelers, our loyal travelers and future travelers, a good uh, overview of our company. And uh, you are first to us. And I know as we come out of uh, the pandemic, we're seeing pent up, there's pent up uh, 
demand. And we look forward to serving you. We can't wait uh, to get back on the road with you and do what we love doing. And so there's a lot of great opportunities and we're excited about 2021 and what, what the possibilities uh, are, are, are for us. So thanks for your time. Now I wanna uh, turn it over to Judy, but I first just wanna say, uh, give her a, a little introduction here. Like I said, we've worked with Mayflower Cruises and Tours now for the past five years. Um, we actually ha are uh, doing two uh, river cruises in 2022 and then uh, Ober Amergau in 2022 as well. Or I think that might be this year. I don't know what they rescheduled it, but we've worked with them for many years. Uh, a great, great company. They, they share the similar values that we have about taking care of our customers. And uh, we're actually uh, very blessed to be able to be a, a, in a navigator uh, situ club with them where we're, uh, you know, they, they're going to take care of you, our travelers. So I would like to introduce Judy O'Brien, who we worked with for many years to kind of talk about our 2022 river cruises. So Judy, take it over from there. Thanks, Joey. I appreciate that. Yep. I do remember coming out to Nebraska, probably 2014, maybe. Um, yeah. That's when we first started our relationship and I'm really happy to be working with you and thank you for the opportunity. Um, thank you everybody for signing on today. I've got two river cruises to talk to you about in 2022. We're gonna start out with tool time on the jewels of the Rhine. Uh, but first I just wanna give a quick little background on who Mayflower Cruises and tours are. Um, we are now owned and we're part of the scenic group. So on these two river cruises, we're gonna be using um, Glen Maroney's Emerald Waterways River Cruise Ships. Um, Glenn acquired Mayflower Tours, uh, that was a family-owned tour-operated business for going over 41 years, I think now, um, in 2018. So that only really means that we've got a lot more product to offer now on our river cruise side. A little bit of background about myself. I'm from Naperville, in Illinois. You can see me right here in, in Budapest, um, which you'll be going on in your Danube River Cruise. Um, got a lot of different um, experience on river cruising. I've been on both of these trips, the Tulip Time on the Rhine and the Danube River Cruise. I've got Zoe right there and my son Tyler, that's actually in Denali in Alaska in 2019. Um, he attends University of Iowa. So I've been at Mayflower Cruises and Tours, oh geez, 98 to 03 and then 2012 till now. So with both of these trips, um, we are going to be giving you guys free airfare on this when you sign up by the during the promotional offer. Um, we're going to get that expiration date in a little bit, so don't worry. We'll be providing your airfare for you. And we're going to take care of all your luggage handling as well. Of course, once you arrive in Zurich, uh, you know, we're going to get you out there onto your coach. You're going to give the driver your luggage, and then it'll be taken care of for you from then on. Same with your Danube River Cruise. Now, on these two trips, not only will we have a Mayflower business representative with us, but you're gonna have that wonderful professional Emeralds activity or cruise manager. She or he is gonna be designing all of your excursions for you, all of your fun activities in the evenings, your, your active um, activities. There's gonna be some active activities for those of you that like to hike or bike. Just really a wonderful person to um, go to and have questions and just plan all the fun for you. But in addition, don't worry, we're going to have local step on guides and historians on all the excursions and the ports that we're going to be visiting as well. Um, and don't worry, we're going to break you up into groups. So river cruising is really kind of nice. There's only 176 people on a cruise ship. And when you're going to be walking around and your excursions, there'll probably be about 30 to 35 of you in a group. We're going to have wonderful, unique dining experiences and these river cruising. I'd say every day is a unique dining experience because um, breakfast and lunches will be buffet and there'll be an abundance amount of food. If you've got any diet restrictions, just put that on your reservation form so we can let them know ahead of time. You could be gluten-free, um, diabetic, whatever. We're gonna be able to accommodate your diet and dietitian needs. Um, and then our dinners are four course plated dinners. Just wonderful. Well, you know, having a vacation can be really thirsty work. So remember your complimentary teas, coffees, are available through all times of the cruise. And then to accompany your lunches and dinners, which are carefully chosen, that special selection of European red and white wines, local beers and soft drinks that will be complimentary for you to enjoy your meal. So top accommodations, if you don't already know this on this, these two trips, not only are you getting your seven night river cruise, but we're giving you two extra nights. 
So when you're going to be doing your tulip time ride, we're spending two nights in Lucerne, Switzerland with touring and or two nights in Prague on the Danube River Cruise with beautiful accommodations that are centrally located for both. So when you put all that together, you're getting the Mayflower experience. We want to give you all a very life enriching experience. We love working with groups and we're the group specialists. So let's go. Oh, one more thing. Don't forget, you need your valid passport for six months after you return home. So if you're coming back on uh, uh, April 17th of 2022, May, June, July, August, and October, you want to make sure that that passport's good till October of 2022. And then if you're going in September for the Danube, you definitely want to make sure that's good until the end of March or April of 2023. You've got plenty of time to get those updated. So let's start, shall we? April 7th, tulip time on the Rhine. This is one of the reasons why river cruising is so popular because you're going to knock off four countries on one trip. Not only do you get to only unpack once once you're on that river cruise ship, which is very special as well, but we're going to be getting into the Netherlands, Germany, France, and Switzerland all on one vacation. So you can mark those off your bucket list. Look at the beautiful scenery in Lucerne, Switzerland, the Alpine mountains in the background, and the beautiful Lake Lucerne right there. We're going to be staying at the Hotel Europe. Um, this is the hotel where I stayed at when I was there. And you can't really tell from this picture, but there's a street right here. And there's actually a little bus stop right in the front of the hotel. So a few, for a few Swiss coins, you could jump on that bus for um, free time when you arrive and go down to the city center and start exploring right off the bat. You could walk across the street and just walk all the way down by the lake. I mean, the lake is literally right across the street. There's even a casino down the way a little bit near, nearby and lots of different shops and um, chocolates and things like that. So we're going to be um, actually having a welcome dinner on the first day. So when you arrive over in um, Zurich, Switzerland, you'll be met by your tour manager. Um, and then you're going to be brought over to Lucerne, Switzerland, where we'll be spending the night. Depending on what time your flight gets in that day, you're going to have probably a couple hours of free time. So go out and explore. Don't nap. We want you to stay awake so that when you get a good night's sleep that night, you're going to be up and ready for your touring on the next day. We're going to have a wonderful welcome dinner for you that evening, and then you're going to get a good night rest because now we're going to be touring Lucerne, Switzerland. This is a great overview of this amazing city with that chapel bridge right in the middle there. Um, the, the buildings are just beautiful, and you guys are going to love it. We'll have a local guide as we walk around in the morning, and then in the afternoon, you're going to have free time to just go and explore on your own, whether you want to do some shopping or whether you want to go out uh, for lunch with your friends. And then, of course, you can arrange for a nice dinner for yourselves as well. Um, if anybody's watched The Amazing Race, they know darn well there's been a clue on this on the Chapel Bridge. So I found that really interesting when I was on here. So this is all of Lucerne. Um, this is the Sleeping Line Monument. It really represents a lot about the soldiers um, from their war. Um, just a lot of real rich history in, the, in this um, famous city. Now, we're going to offer you guys an optional excursion. And these are what we call discover mores because we want you to learn a little bit more about these areas. So these are a little bit extra expense, but I highly recommend them. We give you the best ones out there. And this was probably one of the most thrilling things I've ever done in my life. And I've whitewater wrapped, I've done a lot of things, but this one really got me. You, get, you go into two different gondolas. The first one's only for four people. The second one has about 50 of you in there and you go all the way to the top of Mount Pilatus and you can see this beautiful structure out here. And, it, and it, you've got, you can uh, grab a, um, a refreshment beverage. There's restrooms up there. There's um, a snack bar. There is gifts that you can buy and you can explore. You can walk around. Oops, let me go back. You can walk around in these little caves outside if you like, take some pictures. It really was just really a lot of fun. I enjoyed it. So let's talk about the ships because we're talking about two river cruises and I want you to pay attention because we're going to be showing you the ships one time, and then I'm going to show you both itineraries. So Emerald Waterways has all beautiful brand new sister ships. I call them sister ships because they're all identical. They all started being built in 2014, 2015, 2016, 2017, 2018, 2020. They're building the Emerald Luna right now. This picture shows the Emerald Sky. Don't forget, they're all identical. So it doesn't really matter which one you get. Following along with your little flyer, and I'm not sure if you have one or not, but I know that Joey or John will be able to email you one or mail you one, or you can go on their website and look as well so that you can pay attention to the staterooms. This is the Emerald Stateroom Category D or E, 
and it's on the lower Riviera deck, okay? It's got a fixed window. It's 160 square feet. It's got either two beds that they put together or you can separate them if there's, if you want two separated beds. So you can write that on the reservation form. This is the more economically priced cabin for you. Um, but I've slept down here probably two or three times and I haven't had any problems sleeping down there. Look at the bed, the pillows, the, the good comforter. I mean, you're gonna be out walking fresh air in Europe and then eating and drinking wine and you're gonna sleep like a baby. This is the cabin I want you to pay attention to. This is the Panorama Balcony Suite. This is not only on the Vista deck, the middle deck, it's also on the horizon. Deck. These are found in category C, B, or A's. This is 180 square feet. And you can see that it's got a big, beautiful window that goes floor to ceiling. Emerald Waterways was one of the very first um, river cruise companies that designed this panorama balcony suite with the drop down window feature and the open air system. So basically what we're doing is we're bringing the balcony into your room. You have your table and two chairs, you push the little button, the window comes down to about your chest area. And now you've got that beautiful little balcony right in your room and you don't even have to leave your room. You've got the beautiful TV right there, your um, closet space. There's a safe in there for you and a little mini fridge, of course, and wonderful bathroom amenities. Again, you can have one bed or two in these. And the Vista deck is usually the one that sells out the quickest. So if you're thinking about going on either one of these trips, I highly recommend you secure your cabin so that you don't have to uh, pick a different category later on. This kind of gives you a layout um, basically right here with your uh, queen size bed, but it can be split into two twins. Um, and then your mini bar safe, of course, flat screen TV. And your TVs also are in English, which is nice because you can go to your room later on at night if you want to watch a movie and it will be in English. We've got eight, that's it, only eight grand balcony suites. This is category S. This is, uh, these are 210 square feet. And this has got a little bit more of a pushed out balcony. You can see a little bit of a sliding glass door there. So maybe you want to get up in the morning and your roommate's sleeping and you don't want to, you know, interrupt them. You can go out there, shut that little uh, plastic uh, uh, door there and then uh, shut the curtains and you can put your window down and you can uh, enjoy on your little uh, balcony out there. We only have four owners, one bedroom suites. If you're, if you're celebrating your 50th anniversary, if this is your only time that you're ever going to go to Europe or you just are celebrating any special occasion, go for it. This is the Cadillac of the bedrooms here right now. You've got a separate bedroom. You've got a wonderful walk-in closet. You've got a separate living area. You've got your balcony. You've got your drop-down window feature. You are going to get an Apple iPad tablet to use while you're on the cruise in case you want to email friends or Facebook friends. Um, it's really just wonderful. You also have a butler service on this one and you get two clothing, two items of clothing laundered per day. Um, it's 315 square feet uh, in this one. This is really nice. Now, let's take a look at the ship, shall we? This is where we're going to be dining in the Reflections restaurant. We'll have our breakfast and lunches, like I said, our buffets, and our dinners are four plated course dinners. And they usually give you three different choices, which is really nice. Don't forget the beer and wine are complimentary. And of course, if you would like to prefer to upgrade a drink package, they'll make that available for you when you uh, check in on the ship for the seven night duration stay. The terrace is located upstairs in the lounge area. This might be another place where you might want to dine because they will have a little bit of a um, softer uh, buffet up there for breakfast and lunches. We might be docked in um, Bratislava or maybe we're docked in another port where we can just easily get on and off the ship and you don't want to go for that big huge lunch. You just want to jump in, grab some soup and a half a sandwich and get back out and tour. So this would be a great place for you to do that at. The lounge is where all the magic happens you guys because we'll be dancing here at night. We're going to have some entertainment, trivia, um, and just sit back and relax, you know? There's floor to ceiling windows all over the place. So if it's a little too windy for you up on the top deck while we're out um, cruising down the river to see some nice castles and whatnot, you can always come inside and sit in here as well. Don't forget there's in-suite dining for all of our suites. There's even a small fitness center on board. And we also have a hairdresser for extra uh, uh, expense and even a masseuse. This is what makes us different from our competitors. We have a wonderful pool on the horizon deck. It's indoor, but it is surrounded by glass. 
glass all the way around and up. So it retracts the ceiling will open if it's warm enough outside and you want them to open up the ceiling. It's a wonderful place to relax after lunch, read a book. Um, you can jump in the water if you really want because a lot of people do like to swim. I used to like to go down there. There is an extra restroom down there. There's usually bottles of water down there. Don't forget, you are gonna get wa bottled water daily. There's free Wi-Fi on this ship daily. Um, just a really nice area, but this is where it gets magical. That turns into a movie theater at night. You do have to make reservations at the front desk. It only holds so many people down there. They even give you popcorn. And I was really, really happy to talk to some of my guests that saw A Star is Born on their Danny River Cruise in the fall of 2019. The sun deck is large. There's plenty of room for everybody, whether you're a sun goddess that likes to be out in the sun or you want to sit in the shade. Um, don't forget to, the Emerald Waterways crew are all English speaking. By the time you leave, they're going to know your name. They're going to know what you drink. They're going to joke with you every day. Don't be afraid to walk past the lounge and say, excuse me, can you bring me a, you know, um, a Chardonnay or an iced tea or um, a bit better beer up on the sun deck? They'll be happy to oblige you. Um, we'll probably have a sun deck barbecue on these if it, uh, with weather permitting. Um, and this is really nice. We have the personal listening devices. These go right in your ears, you guys. And when you're out on your excursions with your local guides, you don't gotta be worried about being right next to the tour manager or your, uh, your local guide. You can spread out, you can hear them so much easier being far away. So they're really, really wonderful. Um, there's bikes on the board on, on this ship and they're free. We're gonna have guided bike tours if you'd like to do that, or you can just take one out on your own and just explore for you know 20 minutes or a half an hour. Who, you're gonna come home and tell people you're were, you were, uh, riding your bike down the Rhine River or the Danube River? I mean, who, who wouldn't want to hear about that? All right, let's go. We're ready to travel. Let's go on this Rhine River cruise. After you leave Lucerne, Switzerland, we're gonna motor coach you over and we're gonna embark on our wonderful uh, Emerald Waterways River cruise ship in Brioche, Germany. Um, we're going to start our touring here in Brioche, and we're going to also um, have an optional tour and some Emerald Plus options. Emerald Plus is just something that we're going to immerse your um, uh, history a little bit more, and we're going to give you a little perk. So it's a plus and it's included. So we're going to learn about the Black Forest Cake demonstration. Who doesn't like Black Forest Cake? It's probably my favorite cake. So we're going to learn all about the Black Forest Cake demonstration. But what I really like is you can have an opportunity to go on a guided hike in the Black Forest region. Can you imagine coming home and saying, oh yeah, I, I went on a hike in the Black Forest. So we're going to, that's going to be a lot of fun. Once we leave Friage, our next stop is going to be in our port into Strasbourg, France. Don't forget, every night we're going to have dinner. We're going to be having a, um, uh, we'll be getting um, uh, acclimated to what we're going to be doing the next day with our itineraries about 6.45 every night in the lounge. Uh, so that you know what time to get up the next day, what time are, um, we're leaving to go out on tour. Um, and then after dinner, we'll have either live entertainment in the lounge or games or dancing or music or whatever. So Strasbourg, France is our next port. This is not exactly right on the river, so we'll get in a coach and we'll drive 10 minutes and get over into Strasbourg. What do, you, what do you guys think this is? Now, I know nobody can answer me, so I'm going to see if you guys can guess. This was what I took a picture on when I was on over there in April. It's a stork. Yep, it sure is. And they had trees lined with storks everywhere. I was kind of blown away. I couldn't believe how big the nests were. So hopefully you'll see storks there in April. You're going to have a beautiful walking tour of this amazing city. You'll learn all about its history and how it almost became a city in Germany instead of France. Um, look at the cathedral. This is absolutely amazing. Your walking tour will end at the cathedral, and then they're going to give you some time to go around and shop at the little shops. Um, and they may even give you an opportunity to say, would you like to stay in Strasbourg for lunch on your own? And we'll come back and pick you up in a couple hours. That may be an opportunity for you as well. So just a beautiful, amazing city, very easy walking city, very colorful. Um, you're going to see a lot of different um, cafes and uh, different vendors with the big cheese wheels and uh, just amazing smells and food and desserts and everything every, everywhere. But the fun doesn't stop there today because you have an opportunity to not only do your included tour, but you can do a discover more optional tour to Ripplever. I said that right. Um, this is uh, about, mm, it's going to be probably from like 1.30 p.m. till possibly getting back to the ship as late as 7 or 7.30. But 
because it is about an hour to an hour and 15 minutes away. So I would definitely take an opportunity to go see this. Um, I think the price is approximately $75 in 2021. So we can check to see what prices it'll be in 2022. And the food, right? look at the food. The, this is, um, the food on the ship is amazing, you guys. And I know you're gonna really enjoy it. I'll have a few pictures along the way to show you. As we, as we sail up the river, we go into port at Mannheim. And this is one we're gonna go over to Heidelberg, Germany. And this is where one of the oldest universities is still standing today. See the castle in the background? That's what we're gonna go see. We're gonna go see this Heidelberg castle. And it's really, it's quite amazing. You're gonna walk across, um, go see the castle and the castle ruins. You're gonna go down. Um, this is basically the courtyard right here of the castle. We don't get to do a complete exploration of every single room, but we do get to see this huge vat of wine and do maybe even a little wine tasting down there while you're there. Um, and then that doesn't stop because we're going to go back down into the city center and we're going to be able to walk around and explore there. This will be an opportunity for those of you that want to buy a cuckoo clock and send that home or just get some nice chocolates or trinkets or um, uh, uh, Christmas ornaments or things like that. Whatever, uh, whatever you like to buy when you're out on tour. Plus, guess what? This is another plus perk, wine tasting. So we're going to get a nice wine tasting in, in um, Heidelberg today for our guests as well. Um, for those of you that are a little too active for your own good and you don't want to maybe necessarily do this tour, you can go on that guided hike up to Mount Konigstrahl to Heidelberg. <laughs> so there is an opportunity for everybody. Ooh, this is a shepherd's pie that they offered on the ship. Ah, oh. <laughs> Joey. Yeah, see, that looks good, right? Nice. Yes. Um, this is one of the most special parts of the Rhine is when we sail to the UNESCO World Heritage uh, during the Rhine Gorge. Look at the castles. You're probably going to see at least 42 castles in this stretch. And you're, it's going to be um, narrated while you're on the ship. So get ready, get your camera ready, uh, get out on that top deck and start taking your pictures because you don't want to miss it, okay? It's castle day today, people. Uh, I was blown away. I couldn't believe how many castles there still are in Germany. You're going to learn all about Lorelei, the Lorelei statue, and how she lured the sailors to their doom from Lorelei Rock. They've got a lot of good little old wives tales about Lorelei. So uh, the Feigenstein Castle, I think this actually used to be a toll for the ships uh, way back when. Um, and then we're gonna arrive in a Koplenz, Germany. And this is really on the confluence of the Moselle and the Rhine. Um, we're going to be having an included guided tour here as well uh, in Koplenz. Uh, this is a 2000 year old city, believe it or not. And they've got the statue of Kaiser Wilhelm II and we're going to have the opportunity to go to the Aaron Bernstein Fortress. Um, very large fortress here. We'll get a nice tour of this. But, uh, and actually you take a tram ride to get over there. So this is like another one of those little soft adventures. You know what I mean? Kind of exciting. However, you do have the choice. You can do the included excursion to Koblenz, or we'll give you an opportunity to book an optional excursion, and we'll take you over to Kokum, Germany and go to the uh, castle visit. You can go to the Reichsburg Castle. This is an amazing castle right here. I did actually do this tour um, and you're gonna go through several different rooms. It's said to be at least a 45 minute tour in this castle um, and it's still furnished the way it was back then. I mean, it really was amazing. I kept looking for secret passages. I couldn't find any, but I'm sure they were there. And then I did mention another about those chef prepared meals, haven't I? Look at this nice piece of, um, it's either pork or duck and the desserts, mm, 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 yummy. Um, we head over into Cologne, Germany with that beautiful, beautiful um, cathedral that you see right here in Cologne. Um, this was actually founded by the Romans way back when. It's another UNESCO World Heritage Site. And we're gonna do a nice little walking tour here. And we're gonna basically walk from the ship through the city a little bit, and we head over to the cathedral. This cathedral is going to blow you away. You think the one in Strasbourg was, was beautiful? Wait till you see this one. I mean, look at the size of it. Look at the intricacy. Um, I, I tried to get, uh, I tried to walk across the street, get down on my hands and knees and try to get that whole cathedral in a picture and I couldn't quite do it. But you do get to go inside and it is just really just quite breathtaking. Um, so enjoy. It was really, really wonderful. We'll continue sailing through the Dutch countryside and we get to Amsterdam, the Netherlands. 
Um, Amsterdam was really quite kind of cool. A lot of people ride bikes in Amsterdam, so be careful if you're walking around on your own without a guide. Um, just make sure you're not in the bike path. Um, lots of different colorful houses, and it's on. It's kind of like they call it the um, Vienna. I'm sorry, um, Venice of Amsterdam because there's all these different canals. Um, lots of different um, opportunities uh, or museums here as well. So you have the Vinci Museum. Um, there's the canals. You can see all the different bridges here. And this is really where um, the good old red light district. Here's those, here's those bikes I was telling you about. This is kind of what they have a lot of different bike racks. A lot of people bike here. And so there's, and there's not really any cars or that many cars. But the highlight of this trip, guys, is Kukin off Gardens because you're going on tulip time on the ride. And don't worry because they sporadically plant the tulip bulbs for you and they just continuously bloom. It's not like when we're like, oh, look at our nice tulips in our yard. And a week later, they're gone. They're dead. You can buy tulip bulbs here. You can have them shipped at home for you. So they're ready to be planted in the fall. Um, and oh, look, there's me back in 2015. Yep, I was walking around Kukin off Gardens. It was beautiful. I mean, the flowers are just amazing. And you're gonna get really a nice amount of time here to explore on your own. You can go into all different types of little places, order the bulbs, buy some wonderful souvenirs, take in all the beautiful scents in the flowers, um, the windmills, really easy walking paths through here. Um, and before we leave Amsterdam this evening, um, there'll be a couple nights. We'll have a welcome reception on the ship. We'll have a farewell captain's dinner on the ship. Those are really the only two nights that we ask that you spiff it up just a little bit more. Most of the time, it is pretty much um, casual dress for travel during the day for touring, and then maybe a little business casual at night for dinners. Um, in Amsterdam that night, they might say, who wants to go to the red light district? They may guide you in there and, you know, hey, you only live once. You might want to see what that's all about. Um, so enjoy this wonderful tour. This is our ship layout. You got your sun deck, the horizon deck. Those are categories A in your grand balcony suites in pink, one bedroom owner suites. Then you got your vista deck and your lower deck. Um, you've got your pricing here. I'm not gonna stay on this too much. Your free airfare is when you book by March 31st. But don't forget, the real importance as well is that you secure the cabin category you want because you're not the only group probably promoting this tour but I know that you're one of the first ones, so you got a nice good pick right now. So take advantage of it. Get that Vista Deck cabin or get that Grand Balcony Suite, whatever you want. We got a really good special for those of you that wanna take advantage of a super early bird. We will give you not only that free airfare, but we're gonna throw in $400 per person off. There is a little bit of a catch that we have to say, you do need to be booked and, and paid in full one year prior. So if you want to take advantage of getting another $400 off per person plus free airfare, you do need to be paid in full, which comes out to be on the April 7th of this year. And if you don't want to do that, you don't have to. You won't save the $400, but you won't have to make your final payment until 90 days prior. Don't forget, we also have a no risk deposit. It's ready, set, travel. Take advantage of our fantastic promotions with our no risk guarantee. If you make a reservation, um, obviously this month through January 31st, We'll offer you a peace of mind uh, if you decide to cancel your travel plans within 90 days of making your reservation. We'll refund you your deposit and your travel or, uh, plan premium. We've also increased our trip delay benefits up to $200 per day uh, in 14 days for a maximum of $2,800. Deposits $400 and uh, your traveler protection plan are different pricing for different categories. So you can see most Moustache Joe Tours flyer for details on that, you guys. I hope you like that one. And we're going to have one more and I'm going to riz right through this for you. And then we'll get to our questions. This was my first river cruise I ever went on. It was the Danube River Cruise. And I've been on it about three times. I did the Christmas Markets Cruise. Absolutely love it. Uh, probably one of my favorites. You guys are the best time of year. Same time of year I went, September 5th to the 15th. Remember when I said it? Look at this. Five, five countries. Two nights in Prague, the Czech Republic. Then you're going to go Germany, Austria, Hungary, Slovakia. Just grab my flyer here really quick. Um, this is a nice one. You guys are going to start in Prague. So when you, uh, you know, go over your flight over transatlantic, you're going to, you're going to end up in Prague. Okay. So you're starting your pre nights in Prague here, which is nice because you're going to have a little bit of free time. Um, when you get there on day two, you're going to get acclimated to your surroundings. We have a wonderful centrally located hotel in old town. Um, you can ask your business manager, 
um, or concierge, you know, recommending for dining options or where is there a particular museum or place that you might want to visit within walking distance and go and explore and have fun. On our next, oh, this is just a picture of like some of our top accommodations uh, that's centrally located in Prague. Really nice, actually. Um, and then we'll start our touring um, when we have our guided tour. So we're going to hit um, Old Town Square. You'll see that famous astronomical clock, the Prague Castle, Tesla Square, all the famous sites. And then there's actually going to be an optional tour for those that would like to join we will go to the Terrazin concentration camp that is for an extra expense. We'll see the Charles Bridge. And then of course, time to leave Prague and head over to, um, we're gonna put in at uh, Passau, Germany, where we're gonna get on our Emerald Waterway ship. Passau is on the confluence right here. This is like on three rivers next to the Danube. They all kind of come together right here. Um, this is a really cool little city. It's right on the river. You can get out and explore. Lots of good food here, lots of good souvenirs here. Uh, but what it's really known for is the St. Stephen's Cathedral. Okay. Now, it is on a little bit of a hill when you're getting out of the ship to go up to St. Stephen's. So for any of you that are having issues with walking on cobblestones, just ask them to get you a little taxi. It's only a couple euros, and it's a, like a block or two up the hill, and we will get you up there. This is why you want to see it. It's got the largest or second largest, because I'm not sure if it's quite the largest pipe organ in the world. And hopefully it'll be playing for you when you're there. But the intricacy of the architecture, the murals in here, you can light a candle. It really is just quite breathtaking um, and fabulous. And then you can enjoy and walk around. And anytime you're in port and you have your guided walking tour and it's over and then the ship's not going to leave till 4 p.m. or something like that, Get out and explore, go shopping, go have some fun, go get a, a beer or something, a um, uh, pretzel or whatever. We'll take you on a walking tour. You're gonna see all the different uh, famous sites. This kind of gives you an idea about the cobblestones and the uh, going up the steps and stuff. Nothing too hard, but you never know. Your knee might be bothering you that day. So go ahead, jump in the taxi, why not? Um, for you crazy active people, you might want to take the guided hike near Passau that they're going to offer you too. So, you know, you can, you're having that opportunity. I'm really excited because in 2022, we added a really cool new city in here and it's called Chesky Krumlov. Uh, it's a 13th century Bohemian city that was barely even touched by the war. So it's still set like it was in the 13th century. Look at these buildings. Isn't that awesome? It's on the Talva River. And we're gonna have a really cool guided tour here. Um, and we'll see the Chesky Krumlov Castle. Uh, we'll be able to go into the gardens there. We'll go to the Fidus Church and we'll get to go into the church as well. Um, as we keep sailing down that day, this is one of the most awesome places. I mean, every day just gets more and more exciting. I, I don't know what to tell you. That's how it is for me when I do these trips. We go to the Mount Benedictine Abbey. This is like a 700 year old uh, abbey that, um, the king, uh, it was a king's castle and he gave it to the monks um, and now it, the monks uh, have this. So when you walk in, they'll first show you with these really cool artifacts and jewels and boxes and things that were like 700, 800 years old. And then they take you in this library with this beautiful mural. I really seriously thought I was like in a Harry Potter movie because it had these big leather books behind the cases and I must have just watched Harry Potter before I came here because that's what it really reminded me of. But that's not even it. You are going to get into the, to the uh, Basilica, which is one of the most beautiful basilicas in the whole world is this Mount Benedictine Abbey. And it is all in gold. It will blow you away. I was just mesmerized. And you can go to the gift shop later on if you want. They have a lot of cool different net trinkets, books, maps, all different kinds of cool things to educate you. Um, on the history of this amazing place. We're gonna give you guys an Emerald Active bike tour along the Danube for those of you that like to bike. Come on, we got a lot of people that like biking out there today. So we're not gonna disappoint you guys. Get on that active uh, guided bike tour if that's your cup of tea, you know, why not? Um, we're gonna also sail down. This is one of my favorite little cities. This is called Dernstein, Austria and you're going to see the castle on the hill. Hopefully you can see it. I don't know if you can see it in this picture because of me being over here. There, see if you can see it right there. That's where King Richard the Lionheart was held captive in. 
in 1173. Can you believe that? This is a picture I took. So I come into town. You can see how charming it is. It's almost like that little movie, Santa Claus is coming to town, where he goes, I told you not to make the toys. I was like, where am I? I'm like thrown way back in time. A lot of different wine shops. They were really known for um, the salt that came out of the mountains back then, apricots in the region. So there's a lot of apricot schnapps, apricot brandy, different types of salts, like garlic salt, seasonings, all different kinds of cool things. It's a small little town, so get out and explore. This is the Kuhn Ringenberg Castle I was telling you about where King Richard the Lionheart is, was held captive in. The castle ruins is what's left, okay? There's an emerald active hike, guided hike to the castle. I happen to do this on my own. There is the proof. I actually made it up there. Um, it was just barely raining a little bit that day. And I don't know if that's the jail cell where King Richard Lionheart was held in, but I don't know. I, I was there, that's all I gotta say. I don't know how the horses got up there to build this thing, but it was just amazing. It is about a mile up, but if you guys are already on the treadmill at the gym, just put your incline up a little bit more and get ready for this, for this trip in 2022, you'll be fine. As we sail down, we're gonna get into a much larger city, Vienna, Austria. This is a beautiful city with uh, known for all of its musicians, of course. Uh, and we're gonna have an opportunity to see the symphony uh, um, opera the, in the evening as well. We're gonna have a wonderful panoramic city tour where you're gonna see the architecture of this city just come to life. You are gonna be blown away by the statues and the different architecture. Um, we're gonna have that opportunity to go to the theater and see that um, uh, Mozart symphony concert. You'll see the Vienna uh, City Hall. Look at the architecture on here. Um, I mean, it's just crazy. So we're gonna have like a panoramic city tour by coach. And then the guide's gonna take you off and you're gonna go on a walking tour. And you're gonna go through the nice little city center. And then you're gonna see St. Stephen's Cathedral. We're gonna wind through these little alleyways. You might even be lucky enough to pass the, um, uh, um, the horses. Uh, and then um, head out and around uh, and then uh, Belvedere Palace. You're gonna walk past all kinds of cool things and then we'll end up at the cathedral. There I am, I'm at the cathedral. You can go inside the cathedral as well. And then your guide might say, okay, who wants to go back to the ship for lunch? Follow me. Or who wants to stay here for lunch? Because you certainly can do that. I went to the Wiener Schnitzel. Actually, that's a kitty portion right there. <laughs> and I was looking for t-shirts for friends. They came back and picked us up a couple hours later and they met us at the, uh, at the cathedral. I took a, um, a guest out on the Christmas markets cruise and we went to a much nicer restaurant one night or noon when we were here and we wanted to know what the heck the sausages were all about. So we got the Vienna sausages with the cheese platter and of course a local uh, ale, which was really good. So take opportunity, you guys. When are you gonna be back in Vienna, Austria? You know what I mean? There's also gonna be an opportunity to do your Emerald Active Vienna bike tour today. Um, this is actually gonna take you all along the Danube uh, river before you're reaching Prater Park and you'll see the most nostalgic 19th century Ferris wheel. There's going to be an opportunity to book an excursion today as well called Taste of Vienna. Look at that apple strudel. Oh my god. Um, and then this is what people really really are excited about and this is another reason why you want to book early. Um, once we will send out the optionals Joey um, people will want to get their seating on this. There'll be two different seatings on this as well. Uh, look at this palace, okay? You guys, this theater, it was, I mean, blown away. Don't think you got to wear a formal gown or a tuxedo. You do not have to at all. Regular little black slacks and a nice shirt is perfectly fine. Ladies, you can wear a dress if you want. You can wear nice slacks and a nice blouse. That's fine. Okay, we're now into another country. This is Bratislava, Slovakia. This is right on the river. There's the Roland Fountain right in the center there. And that's a great place as a meeting place. We're going to have a, a, a guided tour, and then you're going to have time on your own here, you guys. This is one of those opportunities you want to get back and shop, go meet some locals, go have a beer with a local, go try some food with a local, whatever, but get out here and explore. Believe me, this is a cool little city. Um, we'll have our guided tour. We'll see all the uh, national monuments like the Slavic National Theater, and there's that beautiful castle on the hill. This has went through a lot of different changes over the years, and now it's like in that Renaissance style that kind of looks right from a uh, child storybook really kind of looks like, doesn't it? Um, and, and back to that picture, there'll be an Emerald Active hike to the Bratislava Castle, but I happen to know that they have a little choo-choo train 
that will take you up there for just a few euros. Tonight, we're going to have a uh, live entertainment on the ship. Slovakian entertainment's going to come on the ship after our dinner tonight. And then we're going to sail into what you've been waiting for. The best city to end your amazing Danube Explorer River Cruise is the Budapest in Hungary. And I can't even tell you enough about it. It is just absolutely amazing. We're going to be doing some touring. Um, we're going to be doing the Buddha Castle. Uh, you'll see the Matthias Church. And we'll make a stop over at Hero Square. You have a great opportunity for a group photo here as well. We're going to see Fisherman's Bastion. This is a, such a cool building. It always reminds me of a big sandcastle. I really just flock to this. This is on the one side. you got Buddha on one side and Pasha on the other. You'll see the Royal Palace, of course. Um, and then there'll also be an emerald hike, if anybody wants to do it, up to Buddha Hill. Um, there'll be a Discover More here as well. This is a brand new uh, um, Discover More that we added to this. So we'll have a little bit more information about this down the road. And look how lucky I was. We saw a rainbow during our dinner, a full rainbow. <laughs> it went right over the parliament. That's where our ship was docked during dinner, right in front of the parliament. So that was really cool. Here's a picture of me at night, you guys. I can't tell you enough about this city at night because it is absolutely mind blowing. Everything's lit up. The bridges are lit up. The parliament's lit up. The churches are lit up. I mean, you are not even going to believe that you are in Budapest, Hungary. Enjoy, you guys. Enjoy. We're going to hopefully have an evening cruise just in the Bay Area. And if not, you can just go up on top. They usually give you a nice little cocktail to cheers and take on and look at this beautiful, amazing city. We're going to have a Hungarian folklore show tonight on board after, we, after our dinner. And we've got our pricing here for you again. Again, this includes your free airfare when booked by March 31st. Uh, same ship layout. Don't forget, all identical ships opportunity to get that super early bird savings don't forget you got a book by february 28th to get that super early bird savings it's not going to be offered you for the rest of the month or i mean rest of uh time so um you can talk to joey about that if you're interested in that if you have any questions you can tell ask me about that later you've got that no risk deposit we talked about on this tour as well um and we can even offer a uh first time travel savings on these as well $400 deposit. Um, the final payment on this one, I'm sorry, I got the wrong thing on that. That's going to be uh, due in um, June. And then your traveler protection plan will be on your Mustache Joe flyer. So we are going to open this up for, whoops, sorry about that. Let me go back to my slideshow for questions right now. And um, let's Thank see. You. Thank you, Judy. You're welcome. I and, hope I know uh, those um, that <laughs> in booking. I, it was great to see all the beautiful sights and the the food. I mean, I'm already hungry. Goodness, <laughs> I know you are. Okay. And, uh, so, if you'd like, if on any of those two trips, before we get started with questions, um, you know, if you'd like to make a reservation or if you have more questions, we'll have staff here. I know it's Friday afternoon, but. Uh, on Monday to help answer those questions. And if you'd like to make a reservation and call that in, we can do that Monday as well. Or again, you can go online and, and uh, do it that way if you feel comfortable.